In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my technique how to get a permanent backlinks from Wikipedia. This method is going to be very simple and you're going to learn it so easy. And remember, Wikipedia and backlink are going to increase your website traffic. I know some of you may be wondering, Wikipedia is not a do follow backlink, is a no follow backlink. It's very hard. You search some terms on Google search and you will not see Wikipedia because Wikipedia have built a lot of trust with Google. So getting backlink from Wikipedia will increase our website opportunity to rank better on Google. So let me show you guys how to get a permanent wikipedia backlink that is going to help you to increase your website traffic let's do it the first thing we need to do to get a wikipedia backlink which is permanent wikipedia backlink we will need to head over to expireddomain.net we're going to be finding the domain that have wikipedia backlinks and then we direct it to our money site but there is a secret here if you want to increase your domain authority your website authority we direct the expired domain to your home page but if you want to increase your page ranking to rank very well on google we direct the expired domain to your category don't do this more than two or even more in fact don't do it too the main important thing here is that we're going to be getting expired domain that have wikipedia backlink that is going to be pointing to our money site so the catch here is that you're going to look for a high difficult category in your niche let's say for example you're talking about how to make money you have how to make money category and other categories so when it comes to make money online there's other authority website that is taking over the google search so to you know to be one of them you also need to get a strong expired domain and redirect to the category so if you want to boost your page ranking you need to push your backlink to the category or to the post so if you want to Im increase the authority of your website you need to push your backlink to the home page this is the two things you need to understand so pushing backlink to the category to the post will increase your opportunity to rank and your page authority is going to be very high so the first thing we're going to do is to go over to expireddomains.net and sign up so to sign up on this platform is very very simple which i've already done a video that is going to show you how to find expired domain but this video is just how to find our wikipedia backlink expired domain with wikipedia backlink so we can be able to redirect it to our home page or categories or even our content but redirecting it to your content is just waste of resources so one of the easiest way to do that is to redirect it to your category so find one of the tough category you have in your niche that is very difficult to rank and then push the expired domain to it this will give, give you opportunity to rank better okay so the first thing we're going to do after we sign up to expired domains.net i have account already it's very simple to sign up okay let me just show the process which is going to be very easy what you just need to do is to put a username put a password you want choose uh, repeat that password and put your email they're going to send you activation uh, link to the email so you can activate your account once you activate your account this is very simple another thing you're going to do for me is to sign up once you sign once you sign up you're going to click login and login with your account once you log in there's a very important thing i want to disclose a secret that nobody have ever showed you the first thing you're going to do is go to column manager the reason why you're going to column manager is to enable the important features make sure you check these features you can also check this one this will help to show the matrix of each of these things you choose which is the majestic language the majestic edu backlink the majestic government backlink uh, you know the referral traffic that is coming to the webs the domain before it's very important just check all of them and you can also take your time to understand each of their features so once you go to the column manager and choose these ones scroll down and save changes this will help you to you know to activate each of these features so once we go back let's go back to delete domain the first thing we're going to do is to show fitter and go back to here scroll down and choose only available domains now the next thing we're going to do is to choose domain that have a backlink from 100 upward okay the next thing we're going to do again is additional we're going to choose the domain extension that is going to have that a wikipedia backlink okay now once we choose dot com dot net and dot org you can choose other domain extension now we're going to go over to xu this is the place the magic need to come in so we're going to put one wikipedia or two wikipedia so we need a domain that have two wikipedia backlink or one wikipedia backlink. remember once a domain have a wikipedia backlink pointing to it, there's a probability that is other 
high authority website that is going to be referring to this domain so it's a win-win for you but the main strategy here is to get a website that have wikipedia backlink already so we can use that domain to redirect to our money site if you want to use it to increase your, uh, your domain authority push it to the home page if you want to increase your page ranking to increase your opportunity in ranking in your niche push it to the category okay push it to the tough category i won't advise you to redirect uh expired domain to each of your category it will look fishy so to keep it unique look for the tough uh, category in your niche and redirect the expired domain so the next thing we're going to do since we have already choose uh we want to see a domain that have two wikipedia backlink now the next thing we're going to do is to, under the majesty just choose uh, eight in catch uh, caption flow and eight in trust flow and then click apply filter now once we have apply filter you're going to see a lot of domains that have wikipedia backlinks these domains have wikipedia backlink and remember we set our um our domains that we're going to find there to have 100 backlink upward that is going to be referring to it. so if you also want to understand the features these are the features that are activated this will show you the uh, the, uh, the previous name server they are using before the alexandra ranking and a lot of important metrics that you would like to check out for yourself and it's going to show you uh, the language which is the dom uh, the domain is using for example if you go up here this is the language okay 100 percent 99 percent uk language these are just the metrics that you activated in uh, column manager but if i'm going to this since we have already find these domains is to analyze them and pick the one we really want again the next thing you need to consider avoid any domain that have high redirection like this one that have already have seven redirection impacts there's no need to buy it buy the one that have zero redirection impacts so you will not end up buying domain that already paralyzed by google so once you click and copy you can go over to moves and analyze i don't think my moves is activated so the easiest way to do that okay i don't even think it's activated that's what i'm trying to say so this is just the only strategy to find a permanent wikipedia backlink you can also use a uh, sim brush or use any other tools that is going to show you the link profile the main important thing is to find the one that have that particular wikipedia but once you just select the features that i just chose from here once you choose those important thing that i showed which is choosing how many wikipedia backlink you need to be pointing to the expired domain the majesty this is very important and once you do that apply filter these domains have wikipedia backlink it left for you to take your time to analyze them and choose exactly what you want and if you check very well here this domain have a domain score of five and if you go over to this place you're going to see the link profile okay let me just scroll down a little bit okay this is what it looks like and this domain have over 56 percent uh yeah, no uh, do uh, do follow backlink and no follow of 45 44 percent so this is one of the easiest way to get a website i have wikipedia backlink so look at it very here so this is the place the website is getting the wikipedia backlink the next thing you're also going to do to find that particular place is getting the backlink in this wikipedia backlink is to do control u and click control of and also paste the domain name now you're going to be finding the place that is giving this backlink so one of the easiest way again to make your backlinks to be very strong the backlink you're going to be collecting from here is also to send a uh, quality backlinks to this page since this page is giving backlink to your expired domain you're going to buy is a good opportunity you point backlink to this page to this url you can point six quality links to it to also help empowering up your or uh, your expired domain because you're going to be redirecting to your category or to your home page but remember if you want to increase your page ranking redirect it to, to the category this will give opportunity for you to rank better in google search and also increase your traffic so see you guys in my next video peace